My name is Macy. My name is Julia. My name is Tacy. My name is Abby. Macy, how old are you? I am seven. I'm almost 14. I'm 11. And I'm 10. Have you guys swam in a mermaid tail before? No. Yes, I have. What was your favorite part, Julia, swimming in a mermaid tail before? It felt really, like, fun, and um, it just kind of felt nice to swim in it, I guess. Have you ever swam in a mermaid tail before? No, I haven't. No, I have worn one before. Are you pretty excited to swim in a mermaid tail today? Yes, 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 when my mom told me, and I was like, okay, we need to hurry. <laughs> Would you say that you're a pretty good swimmer without a mermaid tail? Yeah. Yes, I am. Well, I love swimming. I could do, you know, front flips, back flips, handstands. What are you expecting when you swim in your mermaid tail today? I think it will be, like, easier to paddle, maybe. Um, I think it'll be fun. I feel like it might be kind of hard to get used to the mermaid tail at first, like having your feet together and stuff. Um, I think it'll feel weird at first, but then I'll get used to it. What do you think will be the most difficult part? Probably getting used to not being able to put, like, you know, one foot forward or whatever to catch yourself or something. Makes it feel even more real in the water? Mm-hmm. Why? Because mermaids swim in the water. They swim in the water. But some mermaids actually, when they're on land, they turn into humans. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I never <laughs> turned to a mermaid in the water. Are you ready to go swim? Yes. Okay, let's go. Are you ready to go swim? Yeah. Alright, let's go. Yeah. Let's first thoughts after swimming in the mermaid tail? So, right it's kind of hard, but when I got smooth, it was, it was kind of easy. It was kind of easy once you got the hang of it? Uh-huh. Yeah? Like, yeah. it's a lot more powerful. You can go a lot faster yeah. Yeah. with the tail. You can go a lot faster with it. How did it feel? It feels unique. Unique? Mm -hmm. Yeah? It's kind of hard to like hover around on it, but the actual swimming was easier than I expected. A lot, something like I thought it would be kind of more difficult, but it was super fun. It was really fun. I really liked it. It was good. What was your favorite part? When I did a front flip. I like the how like powerful it is when you move it back and forth because it makes you move a lot more than just with your legs. I just felt like I was a real mermaid when I did that. You felt like a real mermaid. A real one. Was it hard? To no, at first, but then when I got used to swimming with a mermaid tail, it was actually fun, fun, fun. I just want to go. So what advice would you give to someone who wants to swim in a mermaid tail? At first it might seem kind of difficult, but you, like, once you practice just a little bit, it'll be better. And then, like, just be careful of the bottom of the tail, because it's kind of hard to make sure that you're not having it, you know, get bent down underneath you. I would say it's really fun, you should like try mm -hmm. it. And if you worry too much, then it won't be as fun, so just don't yeah. worry. What was the key to get you used to swimming in the tail? You have to get used to moving your hips up and down more because that gets the whole tail moving more than, you know, when it's just your legs and you can kind of kick your legs, you have to move your whole body together since your legs are together in the tail. How long do you think it took you to get comfortable with 
swimming in the tail? I don't even know time. <laughs> About five minutes maybe to get used to it. Yeah. So I'll say first it's hard, but then it gets easy. First getting in and trying to swim, I kind of went underwater a few times. But then at the end, I figured out to do a front flip and handstand, but then I'm gonna do a back flip after this. I just looked like a real mermaid. My fin was flapping, my arms were doing this. How much do you want to practice now? A hundred times a day. <laughs> so what is one thing that you think is really helpful advice to someone who wants to try swimming in a mermaid top? First, wear it, you probably want to have a little help with it until you are used to the mermaid tail. And then you can just, when you're ready to swim by your own, then it would probably be easier to do that. Would you recommend to someone else to try a mermaid tail? Yeah, I would definitely recommend it. It's super fun. One of the reasons, I think, is for one, you can feel like a mermaid and stuff, but then also like feel of it and like getting you to swim faster and stuff. I think it's super fun. I really like swimming in it. So I get that tail on and it keeps swimming. <laughs>